Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, today it's time to make my last Halloween special doll for this year, for 2021 and this time I've decided to make a Cruella doll and yes, I know I've made already one Cruella doll when it was last year Halloween or two years ago no, it was probably last year October, it was also my Halloween special and then I made the Disney version of Cruella, the cartoon one, you know, the one in this huge white fur mantle and it was a beautiful doll and you know I actually was not planning to make the second Cruella doll but really guys I love the new movie so much that I just couldn't resist really first of all I really love the aesthetics of the film like this London of the year 70s the style the sphere really beautiful the soundtrack the music is also absolutely beautiful spot on but of course, the most of all, I was impressed by her outfits. Oh my god! So many beautiful, creative, stylish outfits. Phenomenal, really beautiful job. The costume designer of this film, her name is Jenny Beeve, and I hope I don't mispronounce her name, <laughs> because I'm good at mispronouncing everything. Uh, she already owns two Oscar awards and I think she's going to get the third one for this film, for Cruella, because this is just a phenomenal designer job, really beautiful, absolutely amazing. Of course, me and my mom, we just couldn't resist <laughs> the temptation, we just had to make our own version of Cruella. And out of all these outfits from the film, we've decided to go for this one, with this red skirt and this military jacket really it was very difficult to choose because there are so many phenomenal outfits but I don't know I just fell in love with this one it's such a stylish look and it's also has a lot of details it's a little bit complicated it's a little bit probably interesting to make and it's also very important for me because I'm a youtuber but of course my mom is going to make this outfit uh, she has a very difficult job today because I would not be able to make this outfit myself but my mom is actually very excited about this challenge and that's why I think it's time to start this makeover let's start this project uh, of course guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos I don't know, these YouTube notifications don't work that well nowadays, so please check it out if you really subscribed, because sometimes it really unsubscribes people, so check if you are subscribed, hit the bell button, and of course support me and my mom with your likes, because we are really going to do our best today. So guys, let's start the makeover. I've chosen this doll as a future Cruella, because I think her face mold will work really well for it. So now let's undress her, let's cut off her hair and then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make it soft and easily detachable. I will remove her face with pure acetone. Ok, 
Okay, the canvas is clean, the first step is finished, so now let's spray it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to make it matte. And then I can start working on her skin tone using soft pastels. Cruella has very pale skin, so this is what we're going for today. Then I sketch the face with watercolor pencils and after this I go back to pastels to draw the shadows on her face. Cruella has a very bold makeup in this scene, she has black smoky eyes with silver accents and she also wears black lipstick, so I will have to layer soft pastels a little bit to make her eyeshadows really dark, it will require for sure 3, 4, maybe even 5 layers and I'm going to use Mr. Super Clear between the layers. And when the eyeshadows look dark enough, I can go back to the pencils and I draw all the highlights and colorful accents. In the end, add reflections to her eyes using white acrylics and after this I'm also adding silver accents to her makeup. Ok, 
Okay, the face is almost finished. I think it looks really good. It really looks like the reference pictures. So now I can move on to her body and first of all I will like usually sand it with nail buffers to make the surface completely matte. Then I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear and afterwards I will blush it with the same soft pastels I've just used on her face. So the face and the body look really good, this step is also finished, so now let's probably move on to her outfit because this is actually the most exciting part of the project today. Me and my mom we've decided to go for this outfit and you can see there is a lot going on in it so let's break it down a little bit. There is a black underskirt with ruffles and then on top of it comes the red skirt covered with thousands of tiny silk leaves. Some articles call the red skirt ruffle, but no, there are no ruffles on it. There are literally 5,000 silk petals attached to the red fabric by hand. The very bottom petals are black and the rest of them are red. And then she wears this iconic over-decorated military jacket, really absolutely legendary. Such a stylish piece of wardrobe, amazing. So now you can see my mom working on it and she starts with the black underskirt since it's kind of the easiest part of the outfit. Then she moves on to the red petal skirt and you can see her now making a whole bunch of tiny petals and then she's going to attach all of them one by one to a bigger piece of red fabric. And boom, this is it. This is what she has made. Don't even ask me how long it took to attach all these petals to the skirt. Makers of the original outfit hired, by the way, lots of students for this job. And my mom, unfortunately, she didn't have such a luxury. She had to attach it all by hand herself. So it looks absolutely phenomenal. And now after making the skirt, she starts working on that over decorated military jacket. I told her just to sew it and I would do the rest of the decorations myself but she said she really enjoyed this project so she has made everything herself today.
So, and this is the finished outfit I've just picked it up from the post office and guys, really it looks so perfect, so pretty, not normal. I told you in my last video that my mom leveled up again in dressmaking and this is exactly what I've meant, guys, I don't know, isn't it just gorgeous, so detailed, so flawless, I don't know, these tiny horses on her shoulders, just like in a real outfit, so pretty, I don't know, this jacket is made out of a very thin leather I really can't wait to put it on a doll but first of all I want to make a pair of boots for her Cruella wears Dr. Martin's boots with this dress you could see it a little bit on this picture and also the designer mentions the Doc Martens in her interviews so let's make a pair of these boots out of Warbler thermoplastic but first of all I have to make a pattern I've never made combat boots for my Monster High dolls before so now I cover this doll's feet with masking tape then I'm going to sketch the shape of future boots and after this I can carefully take the tape off and attach it to a piece of paper and this will be the parts of our future boots I've cut out all the details out of Warbler thermoplastic, so now I'm going to warm them up with a hair dryer to make them soft and sticky. Then I will shape the boots out of all these details. And once Warbler cools down completely, it will become hard plastic again.
so this is where I've ended up. Really cute. I think they look really adorable. Now I just need to paint them with acrylics and then we're done. Okay guys, the boots are finished, they look super cute and they will go really good together with the outfit, I'm really happy about it, everything looks very pretty and it means I can start actually working on her hair. Her hair I'm going to make out of black and white yarn, it worked really good for my previous version of Cruella, so let's do it again. And first of all I'm going to turn this yarn into hair really quickly, so for this I will cut it into shorter pieces, tie these shorter pieces around sticks, make the yarn loose and then I will brush it with the cat brush. And after this I can glue this fluffy hair to her head using tacky glue. The next day when the glue gets completely dry I can start styling her hair and you can see it on the picture Cruella has a bun on top of her head and actually guys these are two buns connected together because the white and the black parts of her hair they don't mix together in this bun like it would do if I just try to make a bun out of black and white hair together. So this is a white bun and a black bun connected together so let's make it. Okay, looking good so far, now let's cut the rest of her hair a little bit shorter, because Cruella has shorter hair. And 
And this is it, I think. This is where I'm going to stop because her hairstyle looks really good and really close to the one in the movie and on the reference picture. But there is just one detail left and you can see she wears a black and white crown on top of this bun. So let's try to recreate it and for this I'm going to use my 3D pen. And you know, I actually haven't used it for a while. I would even say I haven't used it for years because nowadays I have more advanced machines and materials to work with but I think that this 3D pen would really help me today with this crown. So I start with making all the details for it and then I will connect them together. Okay, it looks quite clumsy so far, but the basic construction, like the basic shape is really good. So now I will cover it with epoxy resin and then I will sand it a little bit with the Dremel tool to make it all strong and smooth. And check it out, yes, it looks really good to me now, so now let's spray it with a primer and afterwards I will cover it with black and white acrylics. And here is the finished crown, I don't know, it looks really good and what is the most important, it also fits and suits her perfectly, it really sits really nice on her head. So now I think I'm ready for the final steps, now I will attach false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips and after this guys we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is my finished Cruella and this time I feel that all your likes and all your kind words should go straight to my mom because this outfit that she made is just the main star of today's makeover. I had just to try to make the rest of the doll to match the beautiful costume and not mess up too much. 
So, in general, I think this is one of the most beautiful dolls I've ever made. I'm really happy to finish my Halloween specials with this project. But you know, guys, I also feel like this dark Halloween time is over way too soon. I just got into the taste of it and I still have a couple of interesting doll ideas. So, I don't know if I want to wait till the next Halloween with them or maybe I should just make more scary dolls regardless of the season. What do you think? And you also asked me to make the rest of the Sanderson sisters. So I wanted to ask you if I should wait till the next year, October, with this project. Or I should make the sisters in the near future and not wait till the next Halloween. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I really need your help to make this decision. So, and now let's discuss my Cruella, and actually not just my Cruella, let's discuss Cruella in general. Have you watched the new movie? How did you find it? Is it a good interpretation of the character, you think? And also, of course, guys, how do you like my doll? And, of course, don't forget to put the like for my mom. And also, write a nice comment for her, she's reading all of them, really. So guys, this doll is now available for sale on eBay for three days, so please check it out if you are interested in it. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, guys, please don't forget to support my art on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you already very soon, normally in two weeks, because I haven't started the new project yet. So, and I'm gonna take a day or two off after finishing all my Halloween specials. So, see you in two weeks. Love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye!